What's going on, Marlin fans? Welcome back for another video. It's your boy, Finesse Monster Activist Bull. So as I'm getting myself together, getting ready to go pick up my daughter from school, I get a message saying that Lawrence Harge is just running wild on Twitter right now. And I'm thinking, what is, what is he what is he doing? What is he trying to do right now? At this moment in time, shareholder meeting is this Thursday. What he's got going, what is he trying to stir up? But before we get into that, um, for those of you that may not know, back in April 2023, which is pre-split, Lawrence Harge came in a picture, founder of Global EV Technologies, did a joint venture with Mullen Automotive under the name MAEO, which is Mullen Advanced Energy Operation. And he also teased a $10 billion contract with Saudi Arabia. And just keep this in mind, this is pre-split when Mullen was trading around 10 to 15 cents per share. Then after Mullen split one for 25, around May 24, Lawrence Harge came out saying that there was going to be a major announcement coming between Friday and Monday. And he had been active doing Facebook lives and really getting into the ears of retail investors, shareholders in Mullen stock. And this article with the save the date announcement from Lawrence Harge actually came out when Mullen had just cracked below that $1 level post split. Obviously nothing got announced and a lot of shitty shit happened since then. And there was also a lot of warrants being exercised on the way down. Now, it's been said that Lawrence may have played a sinister role in Muller Automotive seeing drastic downsides since post-split. And that he was originally introduced to Mullen by an insider that he couldn't name. So that could be sketchy right there as well. Like I said, what's going on with him getting active just days away from Mullen's shareholder meeting? And as you can see here, he hasn't posted a tweet since July 21st and if you look at the charts july 21st was the exact day mullen cracked below that critical 14 cent level as well no need to apologize the independent tests don't lie everybody didn't fall for the lies here just an hour ago at the time of this recording never try to ruin a person's life with a lie when the truth about you will destroy yours and there's more to come truth coming out it was said that GM said they knew nothing about my technology. I provided pics and emails and pics of my Chevy Bolt at the GM testing grounds with GM engineers. They said things about my relationship with Ford. I provided documentation and emails and test results. And keep in mind, Lawrence Harge was attached to Mullen Automotive via a deal that is now completely squashed via SEC filing. But anything that comes out regarding Lawrence Harge or what he's doing here on Twitter is supposed to negatively affect the stock price. Ultimately, because the media and paid bashers out there will spread it like wildfire and attach Mullen's name to it. Then he says, now stop talking. Either send me a subpoena to talk under oath along with a lie detector. Otherwise, there is nothing to talk about. Be blessed, everyone. They said I didn't have any Saudi deals. I provided documentation to prove otherwise. I also provided independent tests of the results of my technology on the Mullen vans. Now who is the liar now? And I can't read the rest because there's icons in my view, but feel free to read the rest. It's something about his conviction. And Des Edmondson says on Twitter, he literally says nothing for weeks. And in the last hour, he goes on a rant about everyone against him, then says, stop talking. Honestly, I'm happy this didn't work out. And honestly, I can agree with him as well. Like, what is he doing or trying to do right now, just days away from the shareholder meeting? A lot of craziness going on right now, everybody. And like I said before, there's been five consecutive days where these large candle wicks came during pre-market hours. Inexplicable and suspicious ones at that. Also notice the increase in off exchange volume here in the past couple of days at 70% on the current trading day. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think Lawrence Harge was planted and had a sinister plan against Mullen Automotive to shake things up with retail investors even more to create selling pressure or do you think his arguments are justifiable and he actually has good technology 
and will prove himself? And why do you think he is running wild at this point in time before the shareholder meeting for Mullen Automotive? Is he possibly trying to come in the picture again and block something major, something positive for Mullen Automotive Company? Let me know your thoughts down below and I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'm gone.